Okay, bud. What day is it? Day, day 156. All right. Uh, yesterday, 155, we installed this transmission or gearbox for the Nissan Leaf, which has the differential and all that already in there. So we installed that with some bolts that we got from, I guess, Nissan? Oh, or? yeah. Let me see if I can find... So this is the, I did some research, this is the part number, I believe, for those bolts, um, and uh, I, I think it takes six, this is quantity five, I bought six, I'm thinking I would have some extra, and I think it took all six, so I, I didn't count, I ordered them, uh, so yeah, I think there's three bolts on one side and three on the other, so anyway, that's the part number. Yep, uh, the whole reason we put it on there is because we've, we've been running tests, uh, and the motor's expecting to have some, I don't know what you'd call it, resistance or mm -hmm. something to just be pushing on. And there's nothing there. It's just the tube that comes out. So we installed the transmission. And there's this little motor, which we bagged up, that is right here. And that's essentially the parking brake of the transmission. It goes in and it locks all the gears to keep it from moving. Yeah, that's right. It's got this motor that was up here. We probably see it in any of the video uh, any images you look up a little black motor turns the shaft and down here at the bottom it moves a little slider that that cook kicks a lever into the path of the the motor input shaft so when that kicks in the motor input shaft is locked from turning just like whenever you would go into park on any automatic transmission and the transmission holds the car from turning so we thought well, we thought there's a pretty good chance whenever this car was parked at the junkyard, it was probably in park, um, however it got there. So, um, we did we did hook it up and try, uh, like, barely hitting the pedal uh, both directions just to make sure that it wasn't parked. And sure enough, it was. Uh, we didn't want to drive it too fast, obviously, because we don't have all of the the Nissan computer that would normally not let you turn the motor when it's in park. So, but it was in park. So then the question became, how do we get it out of park? You know, we did some research on the motor, thinking, well, if it's a simple interface of motor, we can just drive the motor. Maybe it's a DC voltage or something. But everything we found suggests that it's not. It looks like it's some sort of brushless motor with pulses coming back to the VCU of the leaf and or the VCM. So you would need something sort of custom and complicated to be able to drive that motor. So that was out. So we took the motor off. And so this is what the shaft looks like. It's a little 10 spline um, shaft. So we tried to figure out something in the shop that would let us turn that because it's not, you can't really grab it with your hand. And if we tried to grab it with pliers, we figured we'd mess it all up. And, um, so I'm glad we didn't do that because it is hard to turn. And, and we wanted to preserve that shaft because we, we think there's a chance we might use it later. We may hook up our own motor to that thing and, and still use the electric parking brake. So anyway, make a long story longer. What did we do, Charlie? How did we get, how did we get the parking brake off? Uh, well, we went through a few ideas on how to turn this thing. And our, official, our final idea was to 3D print something that could fit on that shaft. Yeah. So create our own little... So this was the first thing we printed. Um, let's put that there so you can, you can see it a little better. Um, and it was close. It was a little bit too tight. And it was also kind of hard to turn with your hand. And I thought this thing was going to thread in and out like a screw. And we just put it on there and turn it. But it was really hard to turn. So I printed this one. This fit on there, fit on the shaft like perfectly. And I printed some nubs and made it a little thicker so that it would be, and even with this, when we were turning as hard as we could, it wasn't turning. So then we're like, man, we're going to have to take this transmission apart and figure out why this isn't turning. So then I said, well, I'm just going to try one more thing and give us a lot of torque. So I printed out this, and, um, and it's got a lot of infill. It's pretty heavy. Uh, I think it's like 60 or 70% infill or something. And this, uh, when I came out this morning... Unfortunately, this is, I don't recommend somebody print it like this because what happens is in this thing, there's a, there's a lip that raises up right here and it stops that big circle thing. So if I'd have been smarter, I wouldn't print all of this 
wide circle again because that actually hits. But anyway, it went on there enough that I was able to turn this with my hand and it clicked and the parking brake came off. So, 3D printing for the win. <laughs> and we managed to hit the parking brake off. Yeah. Um, I don't know, you know, one of our ideas is, well, maybe we'll just, initially when we use a car, we won't have a parking brake, and we'll just, uh, Put it in neutral and pull the handbrake. we'll just use the handbrake on the car. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if there's certain situations where that's dangerous not to have a parking brake in the transmission and just use the, you know, it's kind of like parking a manual transmission without putting it in gear. So I don't know if there's situations where that's dangerous or not if you're just using the, the actual handbrake on the rear wheels. But... That's an idea. We can just leave that off in the transmission and at least move on to the next problem. So, uh, so it turns and uh, we can see the CAN bus data. Uh, so I think that lets us move, move forward. I think what, what's going to be next? Uh, putting fluid in. Yeah. So we're still running this thing we think is still dry. So we need to put some ATF, um, some uh, transmission fluid in there make sure it's all lubricated and we need to hook up our um, cooling for the inverter and the motor so we got a pump and so those are two things and then that'll mean we'll wire up a uh, probably another relay here for our coolant pump so at least at least we managed to get the parking brake off Alright bud, still having fun? Oh yeah. Alright.